Papers to another episode of MySciences.com Online Labs. Today we're going to be doing the quick lab titled Tectonic Plate Boundaries. What you need for this activity is you need a ruler. Uh, I, took a half, I took a sheet of paper, folded it in half, and cut it because that's going to give us our two rectangles of 7 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And you could use clay. The book recommends clay, but uh, I just went out to the 99 cent uh, store and bought some magic dough, and it seems to work well. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what you do is you take the sheet of paper and you create these uh, two minor mi mini sheets of paper. Okay. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your clay or your uh, dough and you're going to be putting it on there. And something one of the students discovered was this experiment works best if you actually leave it hanging outside of the uh, white boundary there a little bit. And so this represents one boundary plate, could be the, uh, actually the first one we're going to be doing is the convergent boundary, and this could be a good example of uh, continental crust colliding with continental crust, such as the Asian plate and the Indian plate, and in the middle you have the Himalayas, or Himalayas, if you prefer to pronounce it that way. So what you do is you just uh, begin to put it there, and the book recommends that it be no thicker than half a centimeter, I'm really not measuring it very well. But again, gives you an idea of how far off it, it is. And try and flatten it. And then what you do is you take, uh, put your hands on the sides and you begin to simulate the plate boundaries colliding. So again, this would be my Indian plate, this would be my Asian plate. And as they collide, you see that they begin to buckle in the middle and you begin to form this uh, uplift, which actually is, um, in this case, it would be Himalayas or the Himalayas. The highest point there would be Mount Everest. And the second demo, or in the second part of the lab, you're simulating a transform fault or a transform boundary, the most famous of which is the North American plate colliding or sliding past the Pacific plate. And right in the middle, you have the San Andreas Fault. So again, I reshape these and you put it against one another and then you just put a little bit of pressure going off to the sides and that didn't work as well as it had in the min in the morning so let me try it again this might work better if it's actually thinner but the point is you want to be able to move these past one another and see actually that's actually pretty good because what happened was that Los Angeles, which is a very famous city in the world, actually was created inside of what is now, on top of what is now the Los Angeles Basin. But here, you have a, a gap that was created. And that gap got covered up by a lot of uh, material from the surrounding mountains. And that's what Los Angeles is on top of. Los Angeles is on top of um, a uh, rubble, basically. All right, that basically concludes the, the lab. And in the textbook on page 253, it asks you what type of plate boundaries are you modeling in step five, uh, what type of plate boundaries are you modeling in step seven, and how do you think the process, of the process modeled in these activities might affect the appearance of the Earth's surface. As Mr. Geary signing off for MySciences.com.